is Rose Price, and I am a professor at Washington State University. And this is the first time that I've seen this film, so I'm sort of reacting in a very visceral space right now. Um, and I'm finding right now that my reaction is actually very different from what I thought it was going to be. Um, I thought that I read a number of critiques um, of the film and thought that I would be really bothered by some of these partial pictures. Yes, there are a lot of things missing. Yes, we don't really see great public schools that are not charters, that are performing well, that are doing incredible jobs um, educating our kids. Um, however, right now I'm feeling like um, there was a particular purpose for having it be um, a very partial narrative. Um, and for me, as an African-American mother, um, who's worried about the education of my child, if we don't, if we don't stay in school, we are a woman, um, that's one thing, but if we do go somewhere else, um, it is going to be a concern for me. Um, and so coming from that perspective, um, and knowing the education of my own family members, right, my own nieces and nephews, um, and all the folks that um, are in my family that do live in urban areas, this is a reality. Um, that, and that is their story. That is the narrative that they deal with on a daily basis. And so I think, um, Sitting here in Moscow, it's it's sort of easier to say, you know, this is not reality. This is not um, what our school, you know, what are the crisis of education. However, for a, a large population of the United States, it really is, right? And so the larger question for me becomes, and I think um, it was a quote, you know, what is our obligation to teach other people's children? And I think that that's something that we really have to think about. One of the ironies, before I turn the mic off, over, um, but I do want to point out, however, is there was a point in the film where they had the kids' heads open, and it's kind of like we're supposed to fill these kids' heads with knowledge. And I think that it's very ironic that the filmmaker said, you know, it's just that easy. However, when we saw all of those schools that were doing great things with kids, in the Kids Academy, in the Harlem, um, was it Harlem Success Academy, that's not what those teachers were doing, right? Those teachers were engaging kids, having the kids involved in their own education, and they were meeting the kids where they were. They didn't just look at them as these blank slates that need to be filled with knowledge. No, what Jeffrey Canada said was that they are actually thinking about who the kids are, where they're coming from, understanding kids, building relationships with them. And so I think it's kind of ironic that on the one hand there's this oversimplification that all we have to do is have better teachers that can fill these kids' heads with knowledge, yet what we see is actually totally counter to that. 